Hey guys, if you're new I'm talking about the PS5 and backwards compatibility. Yes, I know I've been talking about the PS5 a while lately, but that's what happens when a console is going to be revealed, hopefully soon. In any case, remember how a while back there was like this rumor, I think, that the PS5 is actually going to be backwards compatible all the way back to PS1? Well, it's still just a rumor, but I just want to say why it's important. Because the thing is that Xbox is already announced there's going to be thousands of games at the Xbox Series X launch. That's because Xbox Series X will be fully backwards compatible all the way to the original Xbox. Now, it's not going to be every single game, I believe, from the other ones, but they do plan on having it play Xbox 360, X, the original Xbox games, and Xbox One games. And, and the thing is that having these consoles backwards compatible really causes, I believe, people to buy them sooner because the games that launch with the consoles are usually few. So what backwards compatibility does is it causes people to actually buy these consoles earlier, I believe, because then they could just play all their games on this one console rather than having to go back and keep switching between consoles. But it's really important this year, I believe, because I don't think Sony is going to be able to actually undercut the Xbox Series X like they did with the, the Xbox One. The PS4 was able to sell for $399 when the Xbox One was originally $499. I don't think with all the power they're packing into the PS5, they're going to be able to do that. I just don't think so. So I really think backwards compatibility is important and it, and it would be cool if the PS5 would be able to play all the way back to the PS1 days. For those who have collections, I know my cousin still has a big, I think, PS1 collection. It would be really cool to be able to bust open some of those old games and play them again on the new system. Also, with the Xbox Series X, they say they're going to run better on the Xbox Series X than they did before. And we already see this with the Xbox One, as I pointed out in my... Star Wars Knights of the Republic video, it actually runs better on the Xbox One than it did on the original Xbox. So that's cool too. If there can be some improvements in performance with these old games, maybe not as glitchy and whatnot, that would be really good. So to me, backwards compatibility is a must for the PS5. If it doesn't have backwards compatibility, Sony will be in a pickle, I believe, because with the Xbox Series X saying they're gonna be launching with like thousands of games, for a PS5 just to launch with a few launch games, I think that would really cause system sales to suffer. But what do you guys think? First of all, do you think it's true that the PS5 will be able to play games all the way back to the PS1? And do you think backwards compatibility is really that important for the PS5? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and God bless you all.